So the Edgar Fellow program was, I wanted to identify about 40 of the up and comers every year from all over the state of Illinois, from all different backgrounds, representing the state's population. They spend four days almost locked in a room together and they get to know each other. Now, we, we talk about some issues and uh, I stress the importance of compromise, that you've got to work together. But the most important thing is they get to know each other. And so when they go back to the legislature or go back to their county offices or wherever they are, they now know people in the other party and they're good friends. Uh, and we've seen already in the legislature, uh, Republicans and Democrats who've been through this program are more apt to work together to solve problems than they were before. I'll never forget, we had one uh, African-American Democrat from the city of Chicago who said at the end of the program, we, we all is trying to get their points of view. And she says, you know, this was really good. This is the first time I've ever met some Republicans. And you know, they're not so bad after all. We just felt like Illinois had a lot of problems. We've seen two governors go to jail. Uh, we've seen a legislature even controlled by one party can't get things done. Uh, so we felt there was a need. And today, even though we now have a governor of one party and a legislature of another party, we still have stalemate. We still don't have anything getting done. So the need is still there to have the Edgar Fellow program. I think maybe short of the clergy, being in public office is probably the most rewarding profession. Uh, but you're gonna have to put up with a lot. You're gonna have to be willing to take a lot of abuse. But you've got to remember the people you're dealing with are just as well-meaning as you are and to treat them with civility. We yell too much today in government and politics and shout. We need to lower our voices and listen a lot more than we do. Well, I'm pretty old. I heard about Common Cause when John Gardner started it back, I think, in the 60s. And what impressed me was, you know, here is this good government kind of semi-liberal type. John Gardner was a Republican. And I always, that impressed me that uh, it started out, I think, uh, in a bipartisan mode. Well, I think Common Cause is an outside group that wants to see the political process work effectively. They're not necessarily there to see Republicans or Democrats win. Uh, there's enough of those groups there. Uh, so I think it is important we have groups in the state who are more concerned about the end game than the means. And I think Common Cause cares about the end game. Uh, and I think they understand the, the mechanics of how government work is very important. One of the issues that they're involved in today that I think is extremely important and supportive of is redistricting, how we redistrict. Uh, now, a lot of people, that might be in material, but how we pick our legislators, how we draw those lines, has a huge impact on the type of legislature we have and as a result, the type of government. Ever since John Gardner started Common Cause, and I have to admit, in Illinois, there was a period where it really wasn't that active. Uh, you know, I always thought, that's a group that, you know, I would like to be involved with. I mean, I, I respect them. I don't always agree with them, but I respect them. And uh, so to be uh, recognized by them, particularly after you've been out of office for, you know, almost two decades now, uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate that. I'm, I'm honored by that.